Hey, what's going on everybody? Marvin here. Welcome back to another video. So the majority of people that set a goal for themselves, a financial goal or a business goal, like let's say for Amazon, you know, they want to make a ton of money with Amazon or they want to make a ton of money with affiliate marketing or whatever it is. They set this goal for themselves and 99% of people never quite get there. They never reach that financial goal. And that's for a ton of different reasons, but I'm going to tell you a huge reason why that is that the majority of people never reach their goals and, and they're pretty much doomed from the start. And then I'm going to tell you how to fix it so you don't run into those same problems. So when I first jumped into wholesale and I wanted to make it a legitimate business, I had a ton of setbacks. I made a ton of mistakes and I had this overwhelming weight on me that just filled me with doubt. And I'm sure if you guys are barely starting out trying to make some money online, regardless of what that is with Amazon, with affiliate marketing or something completely different, I'm sure you guys can relate to that overwhelming feeling of doubt and mistake after mistake after mistake just pushes you farther and farther back from that goal that you set for yourself. And in this game of making money online or creating a business, things can get ridiculously overwhelming in the beginning right? After some time, things will get so much easier. But that's only if you reach that time where things are starting to fall into place and things do become easier. And I'm telling you guys, they do become so much easier. But due to those failures and due to that overwhelming feeling, that is why a lot of people fail. They, A ton of people just can't endure all those setbacks back to back. They can't endure all the rejection. They can't endure all the letdowns. And that's why they just continue to fail. You have to realize, regardless of what you're trying to make money with, it doesn't happen overnight. I think it's safe to say that everyone's goal is to be financially free, but that doesn't come easy and it doesn't come without a struggle. So let me tell you how to fix this, okay? When we find an opportunity for us to make money or for us to possibly have some sort of extra freedom in our life, whether that's time freedom, financial freedom, or location freedom, we set an immediate goal, right? That goal is to be financially free or that goal is to be able to come and go as you please. So we set this huge goal, right? The goal's up here, but we're starting down here. And every time you have a setback, you feel like you're falling farther and farther away from your goal, right? And this is a big problem that I faced. I jumped into this business and I wanted to make it a legitimate business to make me money. And I set my goal for a year from now, I wanna be here, right? And I would obsess over that goal. I was constantly just thinking about the end goal. The end goal was everything that mattered and I didn't focus on the day to day. And that's the mindset shift that you need to make. You need to look at it at a different angle. Instead of obsessing over that end goal, focus on what you need to do today, one day at a time. Take the business one day at a time. I took a step back and reevaluated where I was going and I just broke it down one day at a time. What do I need to do today to get me a little closer to that goal? that I'm trying to go for. I'm not saying don't have an end goal. It's absolutely imperative that you have an end goal, but don't obsess just about that end goal. Focus on what do I need to do today in order to get a little bit closer to that goal. Because in all reality, if you aren't reaching your daily goals, then you aren't gonna reach your monthly goals or your yearly goals. You'll never reach it if you aren't hitting those daily goals. And that's the shift that you need to make. Once I did that and I just took a step back, I just was flowing so much better and then that's when the sales started going up and that's when everything appeared to start falling into place. Everybody goes through this, everybody at some point goes through these struggles. They go through these tons of different obstacles regardless of what you're trying to do. You're going to run into struggles but it's how much you can endure and how much you can push forward that's going to determine if you're going to be successful or not or if you're going to reach those goals. Even if you're doing like let's say a fitness goal and you want to lose 50 pounds and you see that you wanna lose 50 pounds, you see your ideal body, but you just feel like you're just so far from that end goal that it's just impossible, right? It's almost unattainable because you see how far it is. That's why if you break it down one day at a time, and then over the course of a week, over the course of a month, you will see how much closer you've gotten to that goal. And it's the same thing with business. It's the same thing with making money online. Don't get so obsessed with that end goal that you forget about the process. You forget about everything that you need to do from here until there. And it also didn't help that I was figuring things out on my own because you don't know which direction to go. You don't know if you're going right and that's the right way to go, but in all but the whole time you were supposed to go left. That's that's entrepreneurship. That's making money online, right? And if you don't have somebody kind of mentoring you, then you're going to keep making those mistakes and it's just going to take you longer to get there. Can you do it? Absolutely. Tons of people have done it. Hundreds of people have done it. I have done it made a ton of mistakes and then after I've spent hours and hours and hours going this one direction, I realized that was the wrong way to go and now I have to 
pivot and go a different direction to start over. So then if you're in that position, you're trying to figure out a certain business by yourself, then obviously you're gonna feel so much overwhelmed because I know I went through that same exact feeling. That's why with my students, I try to stress, I am here for you guys. I am at your disposal, use me whenever you guys need help because I'm trying to guide you. And some people take my advice and some don't, and that's fine. Some people want more guidance than others and some people just want the information in the course, but I try to stress that, hey, I'm here to mentor you guys, I'm here to guide you along your way, and some people take the advice, and some people don't, and that's completely fine. I mean, I have a student that I probably messaged back and forth probably a 100 times. But just a quick video for you guys, and hopefully this helped even just one person reach their goals or get closer to reaching your goals. Trust me guys, you aren't alone. You aren't the only ones going through these struggles, going through the rejection. And specifically with wholesale, you aren't the only one having trouble finding products. You aren't the only one having suppliers tell you no. This happens to everybody and it's just part of the process. But take it one day at a time and you guys will get there. If you guys are interested in wholesale as a legitimate business, then I do have a course linked down below. It's the first link in the description and use me as your mentor. Message me as much as you want. I'm here at your disposal, so take advantage. I'll see you guys in the next video.